In this video, we'll find the molecular geometry for SF6, sulfur hexafluoride. So in our Lewis structure here, we have that central sulfur with one, two, three, four, five, six fluorine atoms bonded to it, and there's no lone pairs on the central sulfur. Let's take a look at the model to figure out the molecular shape for SF6. So this is our central sulfur atom. We're going to add those six fluorine atoms around it. We have one, two, and you can see they spread out to be as far away from each other as they can. Three, still spreading out. Four, five, and finally, we add the sixth one, and we have what is called an octahedral molecular geometry. If we looked at the bond angles for this SF6 molecule, we'd see that they're all 90 degrees. So no matter how you move this, you're going to end up with bond angles of 90 degrees. This is our octahedral molecular geometry for SF6. If we wanted to know the electron geometry, since there are no lone pairs on that central sulfur atom here, it would also be octahedral. Let's go back and look at a table to see how we determine the molecular geometry here for SF6. So in our table here, remember we had that central sulfur with six fluorine atoms. So we have six things bonded to the central sulfur. Our steric number is six. We don't have any lone pairs. So that gives us this octahedral molecular geometry. And again, the bond angles will be 90 degrees. If you are asked to use the AXN notation, you have the central atom, that's A, and then each atom here on the outside, that would be X. There's no lone pair, so we don't have an N. So it's just AX6. If you look that up, you'll see that that's octahedral as well. If you need help using this table, there's a link in the description. It has steric numbers 2 through 4, and then we have 5 and 6 as well. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry for SF6. It is octahedral. The angles, the bond angles, are 90 degrees. Thanks for watching.